Hello fellow pilgrims and welcome back to Gengo no Tabi. This is the second video in our conversational Japanese series. In part one we initiated a conversation with someone by confirming that they were in fact Japanese. Second, we communicated that we were a student of their language. And third, we asked them very politely if we could practice our Japanese by speaking to them for a moment. So, assuming they obliged us, next we would introduce ourselves. But what follows that? Since they're a traveler, I would say we would ask them where they're from. Now, maybe you've run into this. If you ask a Japanese person where they're from, even speaking Japanese, they'll quite often reply that they're from Japan. But you want to know more specifically than that. So, this whole lesson will be devoted to the language required to ask that question in a savvy and decisive manner. Where do you live? Nihon no doko ni sundeimasu ka? Nihon no doko ni sundeimasu ka? Where's your hometown? Goshushinwa Dochida Deska Goshushinwa Dochida Deska Goshushinwa Dochida Deska Goshushinwa Dochida Deska What part of Japan are you from? Nihon no doko kara kimashita ka? Nihon no doko kara kimashita ka? Nihon no doko kara kimashita ka? Nihon no doko kara kitan desu ka? Nihon no doko kara kitan desu ka? Many cities share the name of their prefecture, so you may want to ask someone, is that a city or a prefecture? What prefecture are you from? Nani Ken Kara Kimashita Ka Nani Ken Kara Kimashita Ka Nani Ken Kara Kimashita Ka Nani Ken Kara Kitan Desu Ka if you aren't certain of where they're referring to, you might want to narrow it down to an island by asking something like, Is that on Honshu? Or... This has been a huge lesson, but it's such a useful one. If you learn these phrases thoroughly, when you're conversing with someone, they'll see you as an informed, knowledgeable individual asking substantive questions as opposed to just regurgitating phrases. Gambate.